so much, so much sin. So this was Catherine Kuman, the new preacher. Akiwa na ubiri, and as she was speaking, the journalists gathered and asked her, Catherine Kuman, are you not the one who was snatching people's husbands? Because she was used to doing that. She was, she was known in her area as a harlot. And then she said, that Catherine Kuman that you are talking about, hata mimi nilimusikia. You're not hearing what I'm saying. That Catherine Kuman you are talking about, even me, I heard about her. Then she continued to say, I also heard that she died. The one who was speaking is the one who was being referred to. She said, I heard about that Catherine Kuman, but I also heard she was doing that thing you are saying, but I also heard that she died. Why? If any man is in Christ Jesus, the old is gone and the new has come. Are you hearing me, church? Amen. So if anybody stands and accuses you of what you used to do, how you used to live, when you are in the old age, tell them I used to hear about that or no. But I also heard he died. And now, the one who is talking is a new creation. Somebody lift up your hand and say, I am a new creation. I am a new creation. I am a new creation. Say it again. The old is gone. And the new has come. And the new has come. Brethren, as long as you carry Christ and Christ is in you, we are a new creation. Amen. Somebody say amen. amen. Somebody say amen. amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Where I come from, we had so many things. One day, we had a man, we had our own Jehovah. He was called Jehovah Anyoni. Hello? Are you hearing me? The other day, we had another one. We had another Christ. He's called Yeshua Tungareni. But all of them, they never saved anybody. The one I'm talking about is the one we are celebrating today. His name is Jesus Christ. Somebody say, his name is Jesus. His name is Jesus. I am with him. Someone say, amen. amen. I want to talk to somebody. Ambaye bado huwa na jihukumu. Yele mamba ambaye uliko na tenda. Jinsi ambaye ulitembea. As long as you have decreed and confessed Jesus Christ, that one is a gone man. You are a new Christian. I'm coming somewhere. As I have to understand this. You must understand this one for me to preach what I want to speak. Somebody say, I am new. I can't hear you say better. I am new. Praise the Lord. Hello? Look at somebody next to you. How are you new Christian? How are you new Christian? Tell them again, how are you new creation? Praise the Lord. Asama, praise the Lord. Until we understand this, we will live in regret. Many people, miracles haven't happened in their lives because they still live in regret. Some would say hallelujah. But when you understand this one, where you stand, your prayer life will be better. You will operate from a cosmos that is independent of all other factors, but dependent on the blood of Jesus. Somebody say amen. amen. Somebody say amen. amen. This is the man that came in my room last year, but one, he appeared and the feeling and he began to speak to me. I want you to give me five years of viewers. Do nothing so much except preach my gospel. That is why I'm always ready anytime to speak of this man that took me. Listen to me. One day I used to take Busa. I don't know if you know Busa. Busa is Muratina in Kikuyu. And I used to take it not one, one kg, not two kg. I used to take so much like four kg. And I was still a young boy. But that one is an old law. The new law is the one preaching to you. Behold, the old is gone and the new has come. Give somebody high ten. Mambia, wacha kunikumbusha mambo yangu ya kale. Wacha kunikumbusha mambo yangu ya kale. Wewe, kama yu si mchayo ambia watukumu. Stand up and tell some ten people, I am a new creation. I am a new creation because of Jesus. I am a new creation. I am a new creation. Come on, tell some twenty people, I am a new creation. I wish I were you. I would say my name. I am a new creation. 
I am a new law. I am a new creation. Somebody say yes. Yes. Hey. Amen. Who is your law? I'm by the way. I'm going to kill you. As a chocolate, I am a, a new creation. Amen. I am a new creation. I'm a new creation. Come on, I am a new creation. I am a new creation. Just walk for one minute. Say, I am a new creation. I am a new creation. I am a new creation. Come on. I am a new creation. I am a new creation. Come on. Don't look at me like that. I am a new creation. Sarada Sataka. Woo! Praise the Lord! Amen. We are a new creation. Sit down on the head of your enemies. Somebody say hallelujah. Hallelujah. The mystery in the blood and the name of Jesus. That's what I'm talking about. The mystery in the blood and the name of Jesus Christ. The mystery in the blood and the name of Jesus Christ. John 19, verse number 30. John 19, verse 30. John 19, verse 30. The mystery in the blood and the name of Jesus Christ. We are celebrating a man that died and was on earth and raised again. His name is Jesus. That man is our anchor. That man is our standpoint. Praise the Lord. We can preach so many messages. We can speak so many things. 220 secrets of how to become rich. 349 powers of how to rule on earth. But let me tell you, brethren, until we know this man better, our life cannot change. Somebody say amen. This is everything. You wonder why a man would come all the way from the U.S. and people are expecting for him to go in dimensions of revelations. Then he comes and tells us about Jesus. His name is Pastor Benin. And he preaches the Bible and miracles happen. Why? When we reveal Jesus, he comes by himself. Leave any other motivational speakings and speeches this man is everything we need. Tell somebody you need Jesus. Tell them again you need Jesus. Why am I saying so? Because Paul understood Jesus, but he says, I want to know him and know him better. How better could Paul know him? Yet he knew him because every day we have a revelation of whom Jesus is. Somebody say amen. Somebody say amen. 19 verse 30, let's read together. So, when Jesus had received the sour wine, he said, it is, read with me, it is, read again, it is, uh -huh. and bowing his head, he gave up his spirit. Now read verse 34. Verse 34, the same. 
Pastor Tefo says, Thank you. Let's go. But one of the soldiers biased his side with a spear, and immediately blood and water came out. Can you read again? But one of the soldiers biased his head with a spear, and immediately blood and water came out. Give me Matthew 27. Matthew 27. Matthew 27. Verse 29 and 30, maybe. Verse 29 and 30. Let's read together. When they had twisted a crown of thorns, they put it on his head and a reed in his right hand, and they bowed the knee before him and mocked him, saying, Hail, King of the Jews. Verse 30. Then they spat on him and took the reed and struck him on the head. Jesus is telling me something here. I don't know how many of you can see that they struck him on the head. Some say the head. I don't know if somebody can say that they took the thorn and the crown that had thorns and put where? Where? Talk to me. Where? I don't know if somebody still can see that even at the Gethsemane, this must be Luke 22, verse number 44. At Gethsemane, he prayed, and the Bible says that sweat began to come out like blood coming from his head, going downward. There was much sweat like blood. It was coming from his head. Someone talk to me from his head. Praise the Lord. Now, there are seven places where the blood of Jesus came from in the entire system of Jesus Christ and one of those systems and the places I'll be sharing with us but one of the places is on his head somebody say the head talk to me now somebody say the head say it again the head I want to speak to us in the mannerism in which we'll come out that these seven places where Jesus came out, blood came out from Jesus had a significance in our lives today. And this is what we must go with. Today I'll be teaching. On Sunday I'll be preaching. Now go with me simply and slowly. Number one is on his head. Blood came from his head. Everybody shout, blood came from his head. I didn't hear your voice better. Somebody say, blood came from his head. Somebody say, amen. Now, what did the head mean? The blood came from his head because Jesus was signifying that he is the leadership. And therefore, when the blood has come from his head, he has given us the authority. Did you hear what I'm saying? He has given us the what? The authority. Somebody say amen. You and me have been given an authority because of Jesus hanging on the cross. This day when we remember his death, I want you to know that there is something which you are left for. It is called the authority by the blood of Jesus. Somebody say amen. When something is wrong in a country, when something is wrong in a family, we usually say that there is something wrong with the head. If we want our country to heal, we must proclaim the blood of Jesus. Kuna vitu mbili ambazo tulipewa katika hii dunia. Yesu alituachia ambazo ni msaada kwetu. Number one is his blood. And number two is his name. Wachana saraka singine yote kwetu kwa where I come from. There is a woman who went to Muganga. Akapewa miwa. I don't know if you know miwa. Sugar can. And he was told. Iu kikula kila siku inakaka mamugu mutamu wa Yesu Christo. Nimekuja kuambia hau itaji mugu mutamu wa Yesu. Unaitaji damu na unaitaji jina. Is the church hearing me? When you know the mystery in the blood, you can conquer in territory. Somebody say, I have authority. I didn't hear you. Somebody say, I have authority. Praise the Lord. I have authority. I have authority. By the blood of Jesus. Say, I, I have authority. By the blood of Jesus. 
my few years of living on earth, there is only one thing, my brother, that I have discovered. I exercise my authority. Nothing else. I exercise. If you know who you are in Christ, kuna mabepo ingine haita kwa musha usiku, wase kukimbia, kimbia kwa nyumba yako. This is your house. From today, I want you to know there is an authority by Christ dying on the cross that you are redeemed and that thing is better than any other. Somebody say amen. I have a friend. I, I wish she is watching or she'll be watching. You said you'll be watching. I have a friend who is working in a station somewhere. Very serious place. And she has worked there for over four years. So people get employed, new people, and they come and they are given salary which is above where he has. Like 400,000, 600,000 when I'm Peter. Now, I'm station. And she has tried to apply for promotion. She has tried to go to the people who matter in that place. They wouldn't give her that thing. Are you hearing me? And I, just, I began to walk with her a journey. Of course, we have been friends, but I, just, I just began to show her what we have and who we are in Christ Jesus. The other day, I just, we came in, we went, we were sitting somewhere. I told her, I want to promote you today. Not tomorrow, today. Hello? Hello. I'm going to today, not tomorrow. Come on, sing. Today, not tomorrow. We spoke. She gave me an offering. She gave me 10,000. And I had God tell him, 10 means open heaven. Now, her heaven is open. This is yesterday, but this Tuesday is when? Tuesday. This is Tuesday. We were seated. She gave me an offering of 10,000. And I began to pray and to speak. So that tomorrow, a time like this, you'll have a testimony. I am telling the truth. If I say the name, you'll know. Very seriously, the media fraternities. And the next day was Wednesday. There was a meeting in their station. Long story short, she has been promoted and she will be getting over 150 plus what she was supposed to get. In other words, in her salary, you get it. We don't do anything. There is nothing we do. It is the revelation of who we are. You will stop demeaning yourself. Somebody raise up your right hand and say, I have an authority. Say, Madonna, I have an authority. And I am the authority. Clap your hand, deliver and start him out better. Better, 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 better. Better. The head, the head. Why did blood come from the head of Jesus? Number two. That you may not lose your head. That you may use your head. I say that you may not lose your head. That you may use your head. Somebody say amen. Many people run the world by feelings. But feelings come from the heart. Facts come from the mind. Anywhere you will ever be. Whatever you will ever do. Anything you will ever build. It is beginning from the mind. And that is why Jesus was put the crown on their heads. I came to tell the church, it is time not to lose your mind. Somebody say, I will use my mind. Say, Matana, I will use my mind. Say, Matana, I will use my mind. Church, after John the Baptist had preached and done so massive in the kingdom, he went to prison. And the Bible says, the daughter of Herod was dancing. And did well. And the father asked what can be done to this one. And the girl went to the mother. And the mother said, go and ask for the head of John the Baptist. Why not the hands? Because church, where you are going, your destiny is attached to your reasoning. Your challenges are attached to your reasoning. I just came to tell us it is time to allow the blood to begin to fertilize your brain cells. Somebody say amen. amen. I am a scholar. I know some few things about education and academics. And I can tell you for sure I have played with kids in our place where I come from in Kitui. There's a young boy who was number 136 out of 138. And the mother was so bitter 
about the boy. Very bitter about the boy. They tried everything. They took a coach to begin to coach the, 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 that particular kid at home. The next time, alikuwa 138 out of 138. The best from behind. After a coach. Hello? We are in a service like this one. And the mother be, brings the child. And I lay head. I lay my hands on the kid and I say, I fertilize your brain cells right now. And as I'm speaking to you, that boy has never passed position three. Why? The God we serve can fertilize brain cells. Are you hearing me, church? Hello? Look at someone, tell them, don't lose your head. Tell them again, don't lose your head. My brother, you are speaking about the seven places where blood came from in the system of our Lord Jesus Christ. And one of them is the head. So you are saying the head signifies number one, authority. And number two, reasoning. Praise the Lord. Don't lose your head. Again, speak to them. Don't lose your head. 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 Hello? Praise the Lord. I don't know if you discover that one of the prayers of David, he prayed like this. Thou anointest my head with oil and my cup overflows. Listen to me. Your cup will never overflow until your head is anointed. In other words, we will never have abundance until we begin to use our head. Speak somebody again. It is time to use your head. It's time to use your head. Wait, wait. Praise the Lord. Deliverance, are you hearing what I'm saying? Say my hallelujah. Welcome, I'm going to do say my hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Some of you think you are so late for that miracle. You are not late. It is not your mind telling you you are late. You are not late. I came to speak to you because of the blood. Something which was denial, something which was delayed, must come in our lives in the name of Jesus. We have been preached to sometimes, and we think like these things will never happen. I came to tell us God is just God in His own class. Some would say, Thou anointed my head, and my cup overflows. Say, Madonna, thou anointed my head. And my cup overflows. May you have abundance. I say, may you have abundance. I say, may we have abundance. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. The crown of thorns was put on his head. Sweat and blood came from his head. So that we may use our heads. Church. It's not just about skipping. It's about revealing who Christ is. Somebody say amen. amen. Somebody say amen. amen. Number two. Blood came from his hands. Blood came from his hands. We'll just go and read this Matthew 27. All of it better. In your own time as you remember the resurrection of Christ. Blood came from his hand. This is to signify that the work of your hands must be blessed. Amen. Did you hear what I'm saying? So that the work of your hands must be blessed. Somebody say amen. amen. That is why every believer must find work to do. You don't speak in tongues for 24 hours in 7 days. And then you don't see results. You come and tell Pastor Reverend Mayende, Hello? We must find something to put our hands. Some would say amen. amen. He will bless the work of your hand. Your, your, this hand of yours are blessed. These hands, these hands of yours are blessed. Yes, these hands of yours are blessed. You wonder why, why some teachers would teach in one term and students have understood better. And one can teach for 20 times. Nobody understands. Praise the Lord. Somebody say, I am blessed. Say, I am blessed. Say, I am blessed. say it again, I am blessed. 
Listen to me, church. There could be so many things in the world, but hold on to the blood and the name of Jesus. Hold on to the blood and the name of Jesus. Where I stay, not where I come from, where I stay, in Kitui, a woman went to Amganga in a place called Bitini, and she was given salt. And she was told, the more you add these salt to food, the more your husband will love you. Sasa akikuja onereka hizo minka mbisa. Like I know this well, logically. Ukiweka chuvi minka wa chakula, inakuwa mzuri ya menakuwa mbae. Logically. Hello? So, she began to put on Monday. On Friday, she had packed, she was in their home. <laughs> she was scattered from the house. Hello? There, because logically, it can't work. Whether she was lied to or told the truth, I don't know. I know only one thing, the name of Jesus and the blood of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. If I do a conference here for one year and I don't mention the blood and the name, I am doomed. I am lying to you. Church, let's go back to the background. Let's go back to the roots where people will just sing the blood and worship the name. And miracles begin to happen. I am bringing back the church. I am on a mission to preach the blood and the name of Jesus. Some will say, Amen. Nikiwanawe, Dani Yangu, Nikiwanawe, Sijachelewa, Nikiwanawe, Dani Yangu, Nikiwanawe, Sijachelewa, Nikiwanawe. Dani yangu nikiwa na we sijachelewa nikiwa na we Dani yangu nikiwa na we say the revelation nikiwa na we Dani yangu nikiwa na we sijachelewa nikiwa na we Dani yangu nikiwa na we sijachelewa say again nikiwa na we Dani yangu nikiwa na we sijachelewa nikiwa na we Dani yangu nikiwa na we hallelujah sijachelewa damu ya Yesu ni adhamana ni adhamana ya adhamana damu ya Yesu ni adhamana ni adhamana ni adhamana ni adhamana Nia da mana, 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 Kalivari Nata sasa ya tiririka Imba damu Damu ya tiririka Imba damu Damu ya tiririka Imba damu Damu ya kalivari Nata sasa ya tiririka I left this place I think in November And I was resting in Nairobi So that I can go to Nyahururu and preach from a Friday night to Sunday. I was so tired after several days of preaching. So tired. And I received a call from one of my mentors called Bishop Isaka Wawire. He said, Who go up? He go up and I rub in a pumzika baba at Afghan Gatui. I chukwandege next. He didn't say what, to, what I'm going to do. He didn't send fair. So I went to JKIA with a few clothes of mine and I went to Kisumu. I said, Nimefika Baba. I said, I called the guy and the guy was there and I was taken to Mbari. He gave me a schedule. <laughs> he said, I'm supposed to preach here, to preach here, and God said, You are the one preaching. <laughs> then I began to enter Prado to be taken to the next. I preached like I've never preached anywhere. 
Wednesday. There's one day we preached in three churches. And ukimaliza hivi, au kai jini, pasa na shindo uyu ni nani. You enter the next car, you are taken. I preached. The last day, God told me, don't take any offering. What you'll do, go and speak the name of Jesus in the revival. And I went. I, speak, I spoke a message called, in the name of Jesus. If you're true. In the name of Jesus. So throughout the service, I was just saying, in the name of Jesus. I had exhorted all the notes, my brother, Charles. <laughs> I have never seen miracles like that day. There was a blind lady on a corner in a place called Ogalo. She was just sitting, not just there. We just had, why? There is a owner. And she skipped. Everybody was skipping. She has never seen for 12 years. I wasn't preaching anything. The name of Jesus. Mama went home and brought Sasita Usiku, brought Cherehani and put them. We asked her, what is this one for? She said, my son has been in Nairobi. He has never done anything to me. She has sent me a hundred thousand. My empress has never received a thousand bob. This Cherehan na pea mungu. We saw miracles. The thing was the name of Jesus. Church, provoke the name of Jesus. Wacha kuwacha watoto wakishambuliwa na walima mbao wajui mungu. Sayo wamefunga shule. Today I charge you when you go back home. Lay hands on children. Tell them in the name of Jesus you will become that which you must become. You are a professor. Wewe ni lawyer. Wewe ni daktari. Wewe ni bishop. Speak to them. Some will say in the name of Jesus. They just kept in the name of Jesus. When I dropped the microphone, I went to Kisumu. Jesus said, don't take any offering. I felt it in my spirit. Don't take. I went. So I, we went straight to Nyahururu. And I was tired like no one's business. Tired. <coughs> tired. At night, God dropped a message. I began to preach. I put my phone on silent mode like I'm preaching right now. The whole night, in Kesha, in Yahururu, they give me microphone at 11. I gave back at 5 a.m. In the morning. Things and things and things. When I opened, one girl in USA began to send money at 2 a.m. She sent 15,100. Next, she sent 18,400. Next, she sent 149,930. She, she was sending, I asked her, why were you not sending once? Because I'm going to get a tuma tena. Likuwa na tuma na sikia tuma tena. Are you hearing me? The money that you need is in the name of Jesus. You already hear what I'm saying? I say, the money that we need is in the name of Jesus. Hello? Raise up your right hand over and say, is the mystery in the blood and the name of Jesus. Say, Madonna, the mystery in the blood. Say it again. The mystery in the blood and the name of Jesus. Number three, blood came from his feet. Blood came from his feet. Damu iltaka miguyaki. This is to mean we are supposed to have dominion. And we are supposed to have possession. Pastor Hubbard, everywhere you step and you say I possess, you are supposed to possess. Do you know why witches in African societies, they time when rain ikisha nyesha, na mutu apite, na pite, they take, I don't know if you know this, they take your feet, they take things from the feet, and they go and use them. It is because they have known something about feet, but because of the blood of Jesus, that came from his feet. I declare everywhere you go and you want that, even if you want a piece of land, you will begin to possess. You didn't hear what I'm saying? Anybody who needs land and you have discovered it, go talk to the owner who seek somewhere. Just go and walk in the property. It can become yours, Pastor Charles. When you hear my brother? Yes, sir. Hello? Yes. Some will say, I can possess. Say, Madonna, I am possessing by the blood of Jesus. 
praise the Lord. Somebody say the head, the hands, the feet. Number, number four is where? Where else did blood come from? His side. His sides. The sides of the ribs. Blood came from the sides of the ribs. That, is, that was our redemption. That was our salvation. Blood and water came from there. John 19, 34. If you can go there, I can check it. And blood came from the place so that when blood came, my brother, what's the name of this pastor? Pastor Isakaya. When blood came from the side of this man, when he was pierced by the same, the church entered. That was the redemption power. That was salvation power. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Look at me, everybody. What happened in the beginning must happen in the end for things to be well. In the beginning, God allowed the first Adam, call, the first man called Adam, to lay flat. When he was asleep, God removed the rib and made a woman. The second Adam, the rib, blood and sweat came from his rib so that church, me and you, can enter. I don't know if I'm speaking to you. So, the redemptive plan of our Lord Jesus Christ became a fulfillment. That is why he said, it is finished. Praise the Lord. Ah, number five. Blood came from his back when he was striped with 40 less than one stripes. That is to mean we were healed. We were healed. Am I teaching you? Somebody say hallelujah. Blood from the head means what? Authority and reasoning. Hello? Blood from his hands means what? The works of our hands is what? Blessed. Blood from his feet means what? We have dominion and anywhere we step we can possess. If the church knows this one, now we are meaning killing Asema, you can possess anywhere. Asema, you can possess anywhere. The things I've done in this kingdom and ever been in my few years of around 30, I can tell you it is the mystery of knowing who I am. I want to tell you, know who you are. Know who you are. Some will say, Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. So, blood came from his back. That is our number. Five to signify we were healed. We were healed. Number six, blood came when he was praying at Gethsemane. Luke 22 44. And that blood, it was mixed with sweat. This signifies that we were healed from evil, toiling, and sweating. And they come out. We were healed from evil, toiling, and sweating. From evil, toiling, and sweating. You have to remember that, that in the first Adam, that Adam did sin. And the Bible says that we were told that we will always sweat. Do you remember? I want to tell you some, the sweat, we are sweating. We are supposed to sweat as we cry. Some of your tears that you have cried for so long, I pray this for Saka that Jesus will wipe your tears forever. Did you hear what I'm saying? I say some of the tears that people have in this church, I pray this Easter, you will cry them no more in the name of Jesus. Evil toiling and sweating is not supposed to be the bread of every Christian. He sweat for us. He toiled for us at Gethsemane. And number seven, Blood came from his face. When they removed his beard, blood came from his face so that we may have honor. So that we may have honor. In other words, you will not be ashamed. I say you will not be ashamed. Praise the Lord. I when you Inete komara ase fwenyo Inete komara ase fwenyo Inete komara 
assignment to you. I'm giving assignment. This year, stop watching things happen. Begin to command things. Nasema, this year, stop watching things. Begin to command things. Are you hearing me? Yes. I come from an office home which is very... The sponsors died in a place called Bukhalir in Busia. And they look forward to nobody helping them. And a few years ago, I went and stood in a field that didn't have structures. I told Bishop Bernard Mwale, this year, we will have a dormitory here. They call me Muganga. Wayesu Christo. Even small children. I tell you the truth. A Mzungu from US came and established a dormitory that year. What I'm charging Christians with, stop watching bad things happen in your vicinity. Stop watching a house you have built for 10 years. Equipment of a foundation. Those things must not happen. I say those things must not happen. I say those things must not happen. I love one crazy man he went to be with the Lord. He was called Archbishop Benson in the house. He was so crazy with God. So crazy with God. That one day, he had a crusade in the ground. Then, he had a ground day two. He had a crusade. Why? He had a Cameroon in Nigeria. And he said, okay. Now, from today, I command rain to begin when you are playing. And when they begin to play, rain began to shower down. It rained 24 hours. They wouldn't play. They called Archbishop, come. He came. He said, we, will, we have given the grounds. He said, now I command, Nigeria will beat Cameroon 2 nil, And they play and they beat Cameroon 2 nil. That was authority. A man had an authority such that nothing would worry him. Are you hearing me? I was pushing, this is the last one, in the Time area of Kitui. I was an, a small young boy in in internship, Machakos Level 5 Hospital. And I came from there, I went to preach in the team. And in a crusade, I love crusade so much. That is why we don't teach like this. And I was preaching and a man came with a shorts and mukuki. And he was having that mukuki tied on a red thing. It was like a frozen and I continue shortly. He began to come. He was doing pa, pa. When he came, my host called Pastor John. Said, sir, we are mutu huanga hakuji kwa na tumana. Ukiona amekuja, sisi tumeisha. True story. Sisi we are done. Hello? And we stood. Everybody, wachezaji wa vyombo wa linyamaza because they fear him in the area. Crusade's ground stood still. Kumbe as he was coming, villagers were coming with him because they know he's a man of cinema. He has killed so many people. When he came, me, I saw crusade ground in Mesha Eva. I began to walk and to believe in Jesus as a young age. That's what has helped me. You cannot dwindle me down. I know who I am. The Bible says, give me first as one verse 19, but brother, and 20. We are, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm going to pay 19, I'll have to pay 20 to Malise Hapo. Uh -huh. Let's read together. And what is the exceeding greatness? Let's read the church. Of his power towards us who believe uh -huh, according to the working of his mighty power. Verse 20, let's read together. Uh -huh, which he worked in Christ when he raised him from the dead and seated him at his right hand in heavenly places. Now read verse 21, my best, my favorite. Verse 21. Verse 21. 
Let's sing together. Far above. Let's sing again. Far above. Far above. Far above. All principality. Hata itoke Congo. Hata itoke Nigeria. Hata wakuwenye Tanzania. Even if they go to Tiriki. Even if they go to Kajiado. Far above all principality and power and might and dominion. And every name that is named. Not only in this age, but also in that which is to come. Church, we were raised far above. Don't fear witches. Don't fear building. Go and build a bungalow in your home. And a jenga kwenu. Watcha. You can build in Sokimau, build in Kitengela, build anywhere. Because we are far above. We are far above. I'm saying we are far above. Stop fearing anything. Stop fearing anything. Some people fear buying Prado kwa sabu utawawa. How utawawa? Tunatangaza kwa hii meeting ya leo. Because as we remember the death of Jesus, none of us will die premature. I say none of us will die premature. I say none of us can die premature. I know where I am coming from. I am coming from a background where my mother was bewitched, where my father was bewitched, where my brother was bewitched. My only, only sister, Mary, whom I loved, went to be with the Lord. They all died. My grandfather went. 38 family members. But when tried, when they tried the law, when they tried the law, when they tried the law, some of them have been buried because I stand far above. Oh. I wish my mother was around and I knew what I know today. She wouldn't die. Praise the Lord. She wouldn't go. I say none of you can be bewitched. Okay, if you don't believe your God, believe my God. None of you can be bewitched. I say man, none of you can be bewitched. Hata wale ambao hawana kazi. Tunatangaza kwa hii pasaka. Kazi ziyaza kuonekana. Nasema kazi ziyaza kuonekana. May somebody testify. Before me. May somebody testify. I say before me. May somebody testify. Simamo kwa migu. Salimia mutu mambie. You are far above principality. Far above satan. Far above witches. Far. We watch out, child. It's a salary. What was she in? Ivy. I'm a salary. Ivy. I'm here. You are far above. We are seated with Christ. Far above.